Good morning everyone, welcome to another video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another video, you know it. And today we are in the suburb of Kalhel. which is part of Jarfella actually, the Jarfella Council. So officially it's not Stockholm city, but it is of course part of the greater Stockholm. Um, so yeah, it is the last stop here on the Pendeltog, the train line. And I've been here once, it's been a while ago. So yeah, let's have a look what's, uh, what's around here. When you take the train out here, um, you can really feel you're leaving Stockholm because, you know, it's more green, less houses, and I think in general, like, last stations on train lines are always a bit special because it really feels like the last stop of Stockholm, in a way. Like, after here, it's kind of the countryside. <laughs> Not really, I mean, there's still other towns and some other places a little bit f further out, but still, yeah, it, it feels like the atmosphere is changing while taking the train. And I also think that's why I love um, taking public transport in general, is because you can feel the landscape changing, the atmosphere is changing, things like this, so yeah. I think there's only about 12,000 people live here. So it's quite small and sleepy. So I think we're gonna go that way to the water later on. But first, let's have a little sneak peek here in the city center. Well, city center, <laughs> town center. What's over here? The bus terminal. I don't think the shops are actually open yet, but just have a look what's here. Already liking this bridge, it looks nice. Kalhel Center, let's see what's up. Oh, some cool apartments up there. Supermarket. Volkets Hus. Some kind of community center, I think. Library. And the grill restaurant. With grill, it, it's like a snack bar. It's like, um, you know, where they sell hamburgers and things like that. Again, not sure if I like the artwork, but maybe it's just me that doesn't like art. <laughs> Cause I seem to say that in every video. Oh, this cafe is called, but first coffee. Well, not today. 
Actually, maybe I can walk around there. Actually, they do have a bit of a center here. It's quite nice. Oh, there it is, the pizzeria. Not a supermarket. Oh, I love these kind of shops. Very nice. Fruit and vegetables. So later on we're going to go to the other side of the bridge because I saw on the map there was a place called Calhel Beach. Sounds nice and exotic. It's not really uh, <laughs> beach weather, but let's have a look how uh, how that goes. Well, do I need to say anything? Calhel Sushi. My regular viewers, they know exactly what's up. By the way, this is not my new camera for the simple reason that I wasn't really awake yet this morning and I packed the wrong things. So I basically forgot, so yeah. Doesn't matter. So how do I get back up there? Because I have to go to that side. There's a bit of a nature area over there. Ah, maybe if I go to the bus terminal there. The building nice apartments here, I must say, with nice spacious balconies. But I would say the majority of the people here in Calhel live in houses, the so-called villas, as we call them here, which usually stands for those uh, typical, um, you know, wooden houses, basically. All right, let's go back up and over the bridge. Yeah, this all seems newly renovated because it looks really fresh, all of this. Oh, they're building here. Annoying sounds.
Alrighty, so yeah, that's what I mean with traditional houses in the copper red um, with the white, um, you know, painted white as well, like on the sides and made of wood. So the question is left or right here. Ursäkta mig, om jag ska gå till vattnet, ska jag gå och vänster eller höger eller? Så. Så kommer det till där. Tack så mycket. Hej då. So yeah, I just asked them if I go to the water is the left or right. And he says, yeah, the beach is that way. I think there's several small beaches here. Um, but usually when you hear the word beach, um, it's not like um, sandy beaches, it's like rocky beaches usually. Or it basically just means that the water is there. Oh, there's a few signs there. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a whole new area they're building here. Nice and relaxed, no traffic lights here, perfect. Um, left, right. Let's go in between here. Although it's a bit of a grey and rainy day, it's actually much warmer than yesterday. Like, yesterday when I woke up, it was only like minus 2 degrees, and this morning it was plus 11. So yeah, the weather is shifting a lot. And later on this afternoon, I think it's even going to be plus 14. Which for Swedish standards, at this time of the year, is quite warm actually. I don't know, can I go like this? Not sure. I think so, because I see water in front of me. Oh, it's a restaurant. Let's see what they have for lunch. 410 crowns you can choose on different days. Sometimes they have like uh, Asian walk, 
spaghetti, schnitzel, vegetarian options, burgers. Nice. It's probably all the companies around here that go here for lunch. Nice, I like these buildings here. Um, this is probably quite old, I would say. There probably used to be one big factory and now it's all divided up in small companies because all of these doors, it's like different companies in there. Like I read on Wikipedia that that's how Kalhel was started originally, that one company moved from Kungsholmen and the people that worked at the factory, that they started to live around here. So yeah, I can imagine uh, it was around here somewhere. Nice little tunnel, a lot of echo. Oh, these people have the best views here. They're probably the most expensive apartments. And I say it every time, almost in all my videos, it's always a 10-15 minute walk to the water from almost every single metro or train station in the whole of Stockholm. No matter where you go, there's a lake or the sea or whatever, like it's never far away. Hey, hey. I was like, please say hey. <laughs> Don't ignore me. Alrighty, we made it to the marina. Such a pity it's not a beautiful sunny day. Because then I probably would go, wow, so beautiful. But now I'm just thinking, oh, it's so windy. <laughs> but still beautiful. Like this sound of the water against the shore is really a sound that really reminds me when I was younger and I was always sitting along the water um, in the Netherlands where I grew up. I love this sound so much. It's so peaceful and relaxing. See, so places like this, they're called a beach in Sweden. Um, although it's not really a beach in what you probably imagined of it being a beach. Oh, 
really nice apartments here. Only like three floors and looking over the water with big balconies. I must say that although I am more of a city person myself because of all of these walks and visiting all these different corners of Stockholm I'm starting to appreciate these walks also a little bit more like walking along the water with no people around and things like that I didn't really enjoy it when I started this channel but I'm starting to appreciate the relaxing areas more so that's a uh, Nice to discover a little bit of the different side of myself. Oh, that's where the ducks hang out. The cool spot for the ducks. I guess it's uh, quite difficult for ducks in the winter. actually take uh, some kind of cruise boat here over the river If you forget which number you live, 12. <laughs> oh, walking the wrong side. Oh, 
I think here I can walk. I don't know if this is open or not. Let's find out. No, it's not. Let's walk that way. Yes, let's head our way back to the station. Again, this walk is quite tiring because I don't know if you can see it properly on the video, but it is going up and down and up and down all the time. It is basically like that everywhere in Stockholm. Nothing is properly flat. So if you are like in a wheelchair or you have problems walking in any way, make sure you check where you're going because it's quite of a climb uh, a lot of the times. All right, back to the road again. I've noticed one thing since I started these walks. I'm much more hungry. Because some people ask me like, oh, did you lose weight and things like that? Uh, I don't think I've lost any weight, but I'm just more hungry. So, yeah. Lunch is going in really well, I can say. Actually, maybe I've lost weight. I haven't even checked, to be honest.
Now I think about it, maybe my pants are a bit looser actually. Oh well. Yes, I'm pretty confident I'm not lost. There's a lot of forest tracks here. You can see it on the little dots they place around. So usually you have like, you know, the green track, the red track and the blue track. And you can look online on the website of the council, whatever, which track is how many kilometers and how difficult it is. There's also a lot of people that do these really big tracks like um you know sometimes through all of sweden and they all connect and you can look online and some of them even have like cabins and things like that so it's really cool all righty Oh, a little bird's house. All right, maybe that's a good moment to wrap up today's video. Thank you for watching from Karl Hell and see you tomorrow.